themes. And that is why I would like to urge you before I start to embrace this theme. There's a reason why God brings a theme into a man's heart. Yeah. And this particular thing is almost like an instruction that we must reign, we must rule. Yeah. But part two of the instruction, it gives us a pattern of ruling. So we must rule as champions. Tonight, I'm going to focus just on the first part. Reigning. And I'm going to speak about the kingdom foundations. Kingdom foundations. And maybe we should just read a foundational verse from the book of Psalms chapter 11, verse 3, which you know very well. Which is not really the text for tonight. But it's just a foundational verse. And it reads, If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? If you put that statement, which is in a question form, but put it as a straightforward statement in your dream. That's Psalms 11 verse 3. Psalms 11 verse 3. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? That's a question. But if you put it in a statement form, this is how it would read. If the foundations are destroyed, even the righteous can do nothing. <laughs> if the foundations are destroyed, even kings cannot rule. Huh. Even rulers cannot reign if the foundations are destroyed. Which means that there's basically no difference between a believer and a, belie and a believer and a non-believer if the foundations are destroyed. There is no difference between the righteous and the unrighteous if you destroy the foundations below the righteousness. <laughs> if the foundations are destroyed, even the Christian cannot do anything. Yes, sir. If the foundations are destroyed, even Christians will fail at school just like non-Christians do. Ah. If the foundations are destroyed, even Christians will divorce just like non-Christians do. Mm. If the foundations are destroyed. So you can sing many choruses and pray in unknown tongues like I do. But if foundations are destroyed. You are just like the one who does not pray in unknown times. Yes, if the foundations are destroyed, you will be poor just like those who do not believe in God. If the foundations are destroyed, the weakness of the land will affect you just like it affects those who do not go to church. Against that background, I would like to give you five kingdom foundations. Foundations that will make sure that you as a champion, you can reign, you can rule, you can govern, you can have dominion. Mm. There may be, there must be many foundations, but I've got five that I would like to share with you tonight. They are very simple statements, but it's important for you to capture the statements, and I would like you to be obsessed with the following five 
foundations for ruling. I call them kingdom foundations. The first one is this. We are not just priests, but we are royal priests. It's very important for you to capture that. We are not just priests, but we are what? Royal priests. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, verse 9, the Bible describes us as a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. So we are people of distinction. But what distinguishes us from others is that we are rulers. We are not just priests. We are ruling priests. There's royal blood that flows through our veins. Yes, sir. We are not just priests. Yes, sir. You see, the church has messed up for a long time. Yes, sir. We are not just priests who kneel down to pray and who give free meal offering and do all the rituals. We are ruling Priest. Mm. Now, because we have made a mistake to focus just on the priesthood side, we have missed out on the royal side. Mm. Let me show you what happened. If you Think of our biblical heroes. Just think of anyone starting the Old Testament. Who is your biblical hero? Just mention Abraham. 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 Yours? Joshua. Joshua. Your Peter. Peter. Well, that's New Testament. Old Testament? Job. Job. Solomon, did you? I think there's a problem with this one. That one is more what again. <laughs> now, Bishop, did you notice something? I said, name a few biblical heroes. They mentioned Abraham. But did you know that Abraham was not a priest? Did you know? He was not a priest. He was a businessman. He was an economist. Then you mentioned, who did you mention? Joshua. 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 Guess what? Joshua was not a priest. Who else was mentioned? Joseph, guess what? Joseph was an economist, a prime minister. He was a general. He was a politician. A deputy to the president of the hey, country. Hey, what we have done, we have undressed our biblical heroes from their marketplace identity. We took of their marketplace identity. David, a man after God's heart, he was not a priest. He was a ruler. He was a king. He was an economist. He was a general. He was an administrator. Respect. 
responsible for many levels of a cadre of administrators. But we have ripped them off. They are marketplace identity. And as a result, Christians cannot be found in the marketplace as champions and women. You find them in a secret place praying all the time. I'm not saying it wrong, but we were not meant to stay in the prayer. The Bible talks about an economic transfer of wealth yes, from sinners to the righteous. Yes, but the transfer does not take place in the prayer room. It takes place in the marketplace. Yes. If Christians don't go to the marketplace, even when God is pushing the wealth from the sinner, the wealth is looking for a Christian, it does not find him, it lands in the hands of another sinner. Yes. Ah! Am I talking to the right people? Yes. We are not just priests, but we are not royal priests. Ruling, reigning, If you miss out on that principle, you are going to stay poor forever. Okay. Praying in tongues but poor. <laughs> Interceding for others but not reigning. And some of us, we think that when the thing says reigning champions, you think we go to reign in heaven. Nobody reigns in heaven except God. He is the king of kings and we are kings here on earth. And by the way, heaven is a spiritual realm and not a physical realm. So if you have never touched gold on earth, forget about touching gold in heaven. So when the Bible says heaven is made up of the streets of gold, that's a figure of speech trying to tell you how beautiful it is so they just use a language that you understand but it's not a physical reality it's a spiritual reality yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. so reigning as champions is not about something in the future <laughs> it didn't say you shall become royal priests it said you are royal priests. 